today we've got Janine Yumana here today. Now, what happened, basically, she's a pretty sassy lady. I went to one of her workshops a while back, which was pretty interesting when we down there at Broad Beach. But she, she's just come down from the Sunshine Coast and, and she's a um, psychic, but really you're much more than that. So tell us all about what you do. Okay, well the main thing that I, my passion is teaching, okay, teaching everybody to reconnect with themselves and to get back in connection with themselves and back in connection with their spirit, okay, right. and the reason that I like to do that is because if, if everyone was back in love with themselves, the world would just be a better place, so that's why I do it. Mm. In my work, how I help you do that, um, through teaching classes and things like that, but also I help people by reconnecting with those parts that we've pushed aside so if you're having give me an, an example of something that's not working in your life and, and we'll show people how we do that i give away my power okay let's work I'm, with I'm, that. I'm a pushover push over all the time okay yeah. so you want to you want to be able to um know who to help and who not to help don't you yes. that's really what you want to do okay so now you're going to have to do some work all right this will probably take about an hour you know that don't you Oh, no, we don't have to talk about that, but basically, you, so what you do, I'll cut you short, yeah. is let's say I've come to you today, you do yeah. a one-on-one, -on -one. Mm -hmm. we'll talk about classes another time, you come to one-on-one, -on -one. that's my issue, yeah. how do you go about doing it in, in two to three minutes? No, tell me in two I'll to three minutes. I'll tell you how, in two to yeah. three minutes how we do it, what we do is we go in, I use energy, okay, to help you calm down, I bring up, and if you can't figure out what it is that you need to shift, or sometimes you might have an idea, but not quite get it, what I do is I use energy, just using my hands, and um, I ask your spirit, I connect in with your soul and your spirit, and your spirit says, okay, Cameron actually needs to work on this, okay? Yes. And so then I'll say, well, Cameron, from what, what you've said and from what your spirit's saying, we need to work on whatever that is. And so then we connect in, I connect in with you even deeper, deeper, and um, you just lie on a table basically, or and just relax with your head on a pillow, and you just relax. And then I'll call those parts in you. You, you know, we have yin and yang, which is male and female parts, yeah. And so I call that part in that feels like they're always handing over their power. Yep. And sometimes it's your male side, and sometimes it's your female side. So we call that part in, and we speak to that part. Why do you do that? They know why. You, every person innately knows why they're doing that. Sounds freaky? Yeah. yeah and we know where it's come from also. We know where it's come from. It may be this lifetime, it could be another lifetime. It's always a mixture of both. And so we speak to that part until that part becomes calm. We send that part love, we send it forgiveness, and we thank it for being like it was, even if it was driving us insane, because it was protecting us in some way mm. from being hurt, mm. as it sees for being hurt. Once we've worked, say it was your male side, we work with that and we calm that part down, and then we go over and we talk to your female side. And she says why she feels that she's either disempowered or hands her power away. After we've done that, we've worked with that, then we call the child part in where it happened this lifetime. Because the other two parts, the masculine and the feminine part, are from lifetimes or other dimensions. The child part is where it came into this time. Okay? Right. So then when we've worked with all three of them, we join them back into the heart, back into you, and it's instantly changed. So you're basically you're a healer? Yes. Yeah. So, and, 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 and again, so if I, I, I wouldn't go to you because I've got a sore elbow, I'd go to you if I've got some, some personal issues that need, need to resolve. Or what's the basic style of people that come and see you? The sore elbow is because of emotional issues. Right. Okay, so you come in and My it's whole body's sore, but it's <laughs> Well, then you go and see Tim. Oh, that's true. <laughs> But the emotional issues, like I have all sorts of people. I have people that have no, um, you know, it's not in, because once it's in your body, then it's really in you, okay? So you've had it for a long time because your body's saying, you're still not looking at this, so it gives you a sore elbow. And then if you don't listen to that, it gives you a sore shoulder. It's kind of like having a rock put on you and then, then a brick and then the whole wall comes down if you're not listening. Yeah. So we need to change that and we can change that on an emotional level and then that takes the pain away. Exactly. All right, well, that's very interesting. And, and again, I'm going off this because that is your core work. That's my but, core work. But I also have to tell you, she is a very amazing psychic medium. We had this lady come over the other night with, with Sandy Housel and, and Barry Gray, and working together and watching them was just amazing. So although that's not what you do practically, you have a lot of other skills to bring to the table. I have a lot table. of other skills, I do, Cameron. And the reason that I, I can do that is because when I was working with people, I bring whatever's needed to bring in. So I go into past lives. 
if that's what's needed, usually is. And then often what I found was in my one-on-one -on -one sessions was people that had passed away would come and they'd say, you please tell my daughter not to do that anymore or my son or can you please forgive me or whatever. So it's always about a healing. And so that's how they started to come in. And then because I can just tap into that, I just can tap into that anytime. So most of your healings you may also get connection with, with, with spirit often. and also with people that are past. Yeah. Wow. Often. And then their past lives as well. So right. what they were in some other lifetime is reflective and they might have been, and it's not, we weren't all kings and queens, sorry to tell you all that, okay? <laughs> I, I hope I wasn't a queen, so anyway. It's alright if you were in a female body. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I work with that too and um, go back and, and not just in other lifetimes as in human lifetimes, but other lifetimes as in other planetary lifetimes, other dimensions. Yes. Because we're multidimensional. Yes. So we're not just humans because we're really spirit having a human experience. Because again, so that could almost be another YouTube recording. Because totally. I, do, I do remember yeah. Janine just moved in and the owners of the place where she moved has just cut all the plants out down the back and she was mm. devastated because of all the, the plant divas. I was. And they were, they, when I got there, at first I couldn't figure out, like I was devastated. My son was devastated because he, he's a real earth boy. And, um, or man, and um, then we realised we were tuning into not just ourselves, of course, but we were tuning into all the plant divas and the ones that had just, they had no home. So you could feel that? Yeah, and so we were just as jittery as what they were. So we were jittery because we had no home because we didn't want to be there because we didn't like the way he cut the trees down, but we'd already left our other home. So you were stuck. Yeah, and we were stuck, and so were the divas. You see, and so what we ended up doing was creating a portal in the backyard and and um, help them to move over to the other tree. There's one tree left, and so they're all in there. And now we've got this amazing vortex sitting in the middle of the backyard in Palm Beach, I might add. And you can feel it. Yeah, oh yeah, I can see them. Well, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. But anyway, we, we won't go anymore. So you work from Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Below here, there'll be a link to Janine's phone and also to your website. Yeah. So if you've got any questions, just give her a call. Um, and you do one-on-ones? I do one-on-ones, yeah. Monday to Friday? Yep. Actually, Tuesday to Saturday. And, <laughs> and stay tuned. Sooner, sooner or later, you will be running courses. And I did go to one of her courses. She's an old swimming instructor. So I, I think she, she'd be the one with the big strap. She does, she does it. <laughs> so she runs a good course, you know. She, there's no mucking around, no talking. You just, this is what we're here for. We're Shut here up. To let's, let's, let's move forward. Yeah. So we'll look forward to more courses in the future. Thank you, Kevin. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.